okay so welcome back in our previous video we have basically log out the user successfully and clear the cookie and on this video i want to authorize the roles like these are the admin routes so only a user that has role admin can access it all right so that's first of all in the auth let's create here or before that i will simply uh, import here method that is authorize roles okay so let's also add it on the get products to test it out because it is easy right now so authorize roles we simply have to pass in here the roles for example i pass pass here the admin you can also pass here other roles like admin or some other roles whatever you want to specify but this i'm going to put here only admin that get all products route can only be accessed by the admin okay Definitely it is not uh, correct here because I just want to test it. Simply save it and if I go to my auth middleware, I can simply after it simply type here handling users roles. I simply type here exports oops exports dot authorize roles. Let me copy it from there so in the product that is authorized roles all right so now we are passing here from there the roles now it's a single role but you can pass multiple like admin or whatever you have like editor all the roles so we have to basically spread the roles here so dot 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 roles and then we can simply return from here uh, request response next and now we can simply check here that if roles dot includes dot dot includes request dot user dot roles remember we are putting the user in the request dot user so we can simply access the role of the user by using the request dot user dot role and make sure that if these roles doesn't include request dot user dot role this means that he cannot access this route so we can simply type in here new error handler simply pass in here uh, role and we can concatenate here the dollar request dot user dot role uh, is not allowed to access this resource all right and then put in here for three for pidan error okay so now i think so and also we have to call the next so i simply put in here uh, after if the next okay so now if i go back to my post uh, postman and click on send from here so send okay so it is it is working properly let me check it out so roles Oh, we have to also type in here return next all right so now if I go back and hope this time it will work click on send you can see that here role user is not allowed to access this resource so we cannot access this resource because this resource can only be accessed by the admins you can see that here so admin is specified if I go to my uh, postman, oh sorry, uh, MongoDB compass, and let's change here the role to admin and put in here update. And now if I go back to postman, click on send, and now I can access all the products. So we have successfully authorized the roles to the these routes. So I can simply cut it from here and put in on the correct routes. So this one this one and this one so simply remove it from here 
So these are admin routes, so only admins can access it. Simply say, so press Ctrl S, and we are good to go. Okay, so now we have successfully uh, added the most of the authentication. Now we also have to add the user in the product. Because if I go to the model of the product, if I can show you here, uh, the models product, we also have to save the user that has created this product. Okay, so the creator of this product that has published this product, we have to also save the ID of that user. Okay, so I will do that.